Okay, now may you may facing another problem. For example, now this is your sprites. You already have a moving character. This is your sprites, and uh, the palette is looks like this. Then later, you find out on the internet there's a more sprites, more sprites you never saw before. You pretend this is a new sprites, and uh, what if? You see, I want this sprite and in input into my character. It will be and like. Uh, it will be and like this. Okay. And then you input the Intel Mugen, and it will be and like this. So why is that? Because you are expecting the character is using your palette. So basically, what suppose is uh, here, here, you using these three color, exact the same position. See, it's uh, in between loader and save here. Okay, color loader and save. Then you force force this new image, which is based on another palette. This is this image is palette. So you force this image to use your palette. Then this image is not using your color. It's using somewhere else. For example, somewhere else here is all black. You see, it's all black because maybe this image is trying to use the color here. So that's why the color is all messed up. So what you can do? So you have to process the image before you uh, import. Uh, but here is a problem: is these two images looks like the same, but they are using different set of palette. And if you find out this image's palette is more superior, okay, this image. Power is more superior, way more superior than your own. Then you'd better discard your own image power and adapt your own image to this image's power. But uh, you can do either way. It's up to you. Uh, it's based on how many time you have and, uh, and uh, how effective is it. So I will demonstrate. If you want to convert this image to this image's palette, so, so before you want to convert, basically you need to destroy the palette. Okay, you need to destroy this palette. Maybe it's a good, not good idea. It's actually more suitable to destroy this image's palette. Uh, but this is an example. I will show you how to do it. So you basically you say. Convert this image to RGB color. After you convert, there's no more power inside this image. Then use this image power, which is another file. If you don't have the file, you can just save the power to this file, power zero zero, or something like that. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. Then you adapt this image, okay. convert to index color, and say you want power zero zero, which is this image's power, and force this image to adapt this power. Okay, done. But where is the transparency? Oh, I made a mistake because the background adapt the the white. It cannot be the white. So let me redo. So you say indexed color, and you say how zero zero, and then you say the transparent is this color. Okay. 
click OK. Now, these two images are using the same palette. And you import this image into Mugen. OK, everything will be fine because they are same palette. Now, how about you find an image, but the color is different. For example, this is player 1 color, maybe this is player 3 color. Okay, the color is different, what to do? So, the thing is, you cannot directly convert and uh, adapt because the color is different. So what you can do is try to find out the image's source. Uh, does it have a corresponding palette which can convert it to the same color as yours? For example, this one, you find, oh, this is player 3, but it have come along with the ACT file can convert it back to player 1's palette. So you convert back to player 1's palette and destroy the palette. Force adapt your own palette, which is ACT100 and uh, you say this is the transparent color okay now all three image is using same palette then you can input into your movement without any issue it won't mess up uh, another one is called color separation Color separation means, uh, uh, for example, um, uh, let me check the. Okay, let me give you an example of color separation. Okay, so you see the the closing here is blue. Here also blue. That means it's very likely her. Yeah, so this color, so this color, blue. If I change the blue here, it change up and down. Okay. If I change here, it change up and down. But in this image. It's separated. Here is green and here is yellowish green. Okay, it clearly is not in same color range. That means for this palette, you change here, it only this here is affected, not here. So in order to color separation, uh, it's another time consuming process. And uh, so before we start color separation, we need to add some more blue for uh, for this part. So you go to color table and add some more color. For example, for example, you put some blue here. Okay, I put some blue here. Okay, you put some blue here, then save your palette. For example, you save to this palette. After you got your new palette with three new blue, you have to adapt all your image to use the new palette with the three new blues. So here we are using Marco again to process all your image with the three new blue. Click OK. Okay, and here she is. Now she is using these blues on here and here. And later we will use uh, this blue for here. So, uh, okay. so 
next to it, save. Save and close. Select action one. And apply the new palette to all the remaining files. Okay, so you okay. So I believe all oh, now this file contain the new palette, but the, the new glues haven't been applied to here yet. We need this image editor, which is in sprites image editor. And we open file, we navigate to the images. Okay. Now we see the new blues here. Okay, it's not being used. So we are going to pick this blue, which is here. And then we will apply this blue. So here is the tool for remapping. Pen. It's going to be mapping, and you see, uh, you can view, uh, increase, okay. now you're going to click, left click the source, okay. left click source, source become here, and right click the target. Right click target. Okay. So you using this and make it bigger a little bit, bigger a little bit, and you will paint. Okay. okay. Now this blue is using this blue, not to this blue. Okay, next, actually you can do uh, five color at once. So the next one is maybe um, here, this. Uh, wait. There's something in the middle. Yeah, this blue. Blue, so I select the next slot. This is the source. This is our target, and this is darker blue. Okay, where's this darker blue? Darker blue is here. So we select the next slot. We select this darker blue as source. This darker blue as target. Now we are going to paint here. image done and you guess what you are going to manually edit all the images <laughs> I'm not joking you are going to edit all the images I didn't find any uh, easy way to do color separation but this is the way to do color separation okay. yeah, it's very time consuming it took, it took days here so this is the next image okay and save and you got an idea continue next one okay until finish all your sprites this is how hard color separation are uh, okay I'm going to stop I'm not going to make it. <laughs> uh, close. And now uh, I'm going to show you the benefit of color separation. Okay, so you open the picture. You just made a change. 
yes you see you can uh, here 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 you see you can make this part maybe into another color Red. Okay. Then you can make this part another color. Not red. Maybe purple. Okay. You see, this is the benefit of color separation. If you don't separate, these two have to be the same. For example, the most likely is this white is going to be the same as the eye white. So if you want to change the eye, here have to be changed. Here change the eye will be changed. So it's very not good. So you now understand the concept of color separation. Okay. So now you understand, fully understand. I spent so many long time to explain why this kind of picture is the best because it's all separated. It's all not. It, all the element is using a unique color. All the messy works. All the works which took months already being done. So this is the best color set you can have. <laughs>